Have you ever wondered why it's warm on Earth but gets colder as you climb a mountain? It seems counterintuitive, right? After all, we're getting closer to the sun as we go higher. The truth is, the relationship between temperature and altitude is more complex than it appears. Understanding this phenomenon requires us to explore the fascinating world of solar radiation and the Earth's atmosphere. Let's embark on a journey to unravel the science behind this intriguing phenomenon. Prepare to be amazed by the delicate balance of factors that make our planet habitable. From the sun's powerful rays to the Earth's protective atmosphere, we'll uncover the secrets behind our planet's temperature variations. Imagine Earth without its atmosphere. It wouldn't be a very hospitable place. Our atmosphere, a delicate layer of gases, acts like a protective blanket. This blanket shields us from the sun's intense heat and harmful radiation. One of the atmosphere's crucial roles is trapping heat from the sun. Sunlight, a form of energy, travels millions of miles to reach Earth. Some of this energy is absorbed by the Earth's surface, warming it up. But here's where the atmosphere comes in. It prevents some of this heat from escaping back into space. This process, known as the greenhouse effect, is what keeps our planet at a livable temperature. Many people believe that the closer you are to the sun, the hotter it gets. While this seems logical, it's not entirely accurate when it comes to our planet. The sun's energy doesn't heat the Earth evenly. The Earth's atmosphere plays a significant role in how the sun's energy is distributed. The atmosphere is denser at lower altitudes, meaning there are more molecules present to absorb and trap heat. As we ascend higher, the atmosphere becomes thinner with fewer molecules to hold on to heat, temperatures drop. So, how does altitude affect temperature? As we've learned, the Earth's atmosphere acts like a giant blanket, trapping heat from the sun. However, this blanket isn't uniform in thickness. Think of it this way. The lower you are, the thicker the blanket and the warmer you feel. As you climb a mountain, you're essentially moving to a higher layer of the atmosphere where the blanket is thinner. With less air above you to trap heat, the temperature drops. One common misconception is that if Earth were slightly closer to the sun, we'd all burn up. While it's true that the sun's energy is incredibly powerful, our distance from it isn't the only factor determining Earth's temperature. The Earth's atmosphere, with its greenhouse gases, plays a vital role in regulating our planet's temperature. Even small changes in the composition of our atmosphere can have significant effects on global climate. So, while our distance from the Sun is crucial, it's the intricate interplay between solar radiation, atmospheric composition and altitude that determines the temperature we experience here on Earth. And this is why it's warm on Earth, but gets colder as you climb a mountain, then it gets warmer again.